I want to do something cool in this video. Three keywords, three questions, three minutes. Let me show you how. How many questions do we have? One, two, three. And then how many keywords do we have? One, two, three. So the first question, 8.2.1, determine with reasons the size of angle P. So what is our first keyword? P, Q, R, S is a cycling quad. If that is the case, angle R2 should be equals to angle P. Exterior angle of a cyclic quad is equals to opposite interior. So R2 is equals to angle P for the reasons I've given. So angle P is equals to 68 degrees. That is 8.2.1. Let's do 8.2.2. Let's determine with the reasons the size of angle Q1. Q1 is this angle here. And we are going to answer that question using our second keyword. The second keyword, RQ, is equals to RS. So let's see how we can use that. If RQ is equals to RS, then S2 must be equals to Q1 because they are subtended by equal cause, right? And then R1 plus R2 will be equals to 180 degrees. Sum of angles on a straight line. R1 will be equals to 112 degrees. R1 plus S2 plus Q1 is equals to 180 degrees. That's the sum of angles on a straight line. So R1 plus 2 Q1 because S2 is equals to Q1 will be 180 degrees. So 2 Q1 will be 68 degrees. So Q1 is equals to 34 degrees. That is the second question. And lastly, 8.2.3. We want to calculate the size of angle S1. S1 is this angle right here. And we are going to use the third keyword, which is tangent. If S1 is between the tangent ST and the chord SR, then S1 should be equals to Q1 because that chord subtends Q1. So S1 is equals to Q1 for the reason I've given. So S1 is also 34 degrees. There we go. Tell me, which video do you want me to do next? Leave a comment and I'm going to do it right now.